It's tough to come this far and lose. It hurts. But you are defined in life by the way you respond to defeat. That pit in your stomach, fill it with fire. Man, I'm so, I'm so glad they were able to find some of my old high school and college clips playing football and basketball. Y'all might have not even known I was also a tennis champ. Yeah, that's right. Just whatever's on that video there, that's what I was. No. Hey, look, I'm so glad that you're here today at church. Let's welcome all of our locations, our campuses, those watching online right now. You know, it's kind of the comeback season, uh, coming back to school, coming back to a routine. Our college students will be coming back in just a couple of weeks, and uh, so we just thought it was really appropriate to kind of kick off a end of summer back to school series, so to speak, that we have entitled The Comeback. And you guys are about to hear an incredible, an incredible message about a real life comeback. How many of you know that all of us, there's seasons in our lives when we need to make a comeback? whether it's in our personal life, our spiritual life, our professional life, our, our financial life, our marriage, our family, we always find ourselves in seasons every now and then that we need to make a comeback. And no matter how major or minor your issue is, you know, anything that is pulling us away and kind of holding us down, pressing us down from the purposes of God, it's serious. We need to take that serious and we need to determine in our hearts uh, that we're going to make a comeback. And you know, the greatest comeback that was ever made was Jesus coming back from the dead, being raised to life. And today I, I want to introduce our speaker. I'm, I'm introducing my very best friend today, uh, Pastor Dino Rizzo. And this is going to be Pastor Dino's first Sunday to preach in over a year, right here at Celebration Church. And the reason for that is because Dino uh, had some really serious challenges in his life. Many of you know Dino, you love Dino. You know, he's, he had pastored Healing Place Church for over 20 years. He was an overseer uh, to Celebration Church. You know, when we started the church over 14 years ago, Pastor Dino was the only pastor that got behind us financially. Uh, I went to Dino, I said, hey man, I feel like God's called me to plant uh, a church in Jacksonville, Florida. He said, Stovall, how can we help you? Look, we're going to give you some money. In fact, we'll buy uh, your, sound, your sound equipment for you. So, you know, y'all have all heard the story about the keyboard that I played that very first service that kind of made for certain that there would be only unchurched people in that first service because if you had been to a church before, you realized that our worship was so bad, you would never come back. Well, Pastor Dino purchased our sound equipment helped us so much, and uh, he's just been a dear, dear friend. He's here with his family today, uh, Delyn Rizzo and Isabella, one of his beautiful little girls down there. We're so glad that they're here with us today. But to kind of make a, a long story short, and if you want to read the longer version of the story, you can go to the ARC website, the Association of Related uh, Churches website. That's the pastor's network and fellowship that Dino and I are both a part of, but over a year ago, Dino found himself in just a very depleted spiritual state. He, uh, you know, Dino was preaching all over the world and, and growing a, a great church and just running and running and running. And like any of us, uh, it could happen to any of us, he just really burned out in a sense where he got depleted spiritually and emotionally. And uh, that depleted state that he was in began to, take a, began to take a toll on his marriage, began to take a toll on his health, began to take a toll on his ministry. And Dino made some mistakes in that depleted state and really found himself in, in a place of crisis, a crisis in his marriage, a crisis in his home, and a crisis in his ministry. And you know what? Here's the, here's the great thing about this story. When Dino realized, and we were kind of all called in, and we realized, you know, how... Uh, where, where he was and everything, and he realized where he was with his marriage and family and ministry. He said, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm stepping down. I'm taking a step back. 
I'm going to focus on my relationship with God. I'm going to focus on my wife. I'm going to focus on my family. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to God and get back to the most important things in life. And that's my wife and that's my family. And he basically took an entire year off where he went through counseling. He went through a restoration process. And I want to let you know that it, that process was over a year and he has come through that process beautifully. His marriage is healthier. He's got a great marriage now. His family is, is, is great. And you know, Dino, instead of going back to HPC, he thought, you know, in this, in this next season, I just think that it's, it's better let the next generation of leadership take up and, and run HPC. And I'm going to go on and, and, and work with pastors more, help pastors not get in the depleted state that I got into, and, uh, and let my, my ministry take, take shape to more of the body of Christ at large. And I'm telling you something, the body of Christ is going to be a lot better for it. So you're going to hear a great comeback story today. Not someone that just talks the talk, but has walked the walk. We're so glad that he's here with us today. Come on, church. I want you to give the best celebration church welcome that you can right now. Welcome him, Pastor Dino Rizzo. Thanks, Thank you, Thank you, Pastor. Hey, let's clap our hands for Jesus. Come on, that's what it's all about. Thank you, Lord. God is good, amen. You can be seated. Thanks a lot, Pastor Stovall and Kerry. It is an honor uh, to be here with you. Uh, I just want to say thank you uh, to Celebration Church for all of your prayers for me and my family. Uh, thank you for letting your pastor spend large amounts of time this past year, just helping me during one of the toughest times of my life. And I just want to say, you know, it, it, uh, releasing your pastor to be a blessing uh, like you are as a church to the nations, as well as to so many missions, efforts, and around the world. And God is using Celebration Church to make a difference around the world and uh, also just in individuals. Uh, and I just want to say thank you for being a church that allows your pastor rest but also allows your pastor some release uh, to make a difference in people's lives. And he's made a difference in my life. I count Stovall, one of my closest friends. And you know, when you wonder in your life, and maybe you've had this thought, you know, I wonder if, if there's ever a train wreck in my life, will anyone walk into my life when other people are walking out? And I just wanna say that Stovall Weems walked into my life and I appreciate it so much. He is the real deal. Why don't you clap your hands for your pastor? I just thank God for him being there, loving us, coaching us, counseling with us, and just spending a large amount of time. And others like Pastor Chris Hodges and John Siebling, Rob Kelly, Robert Morse will be with you. He's been such a blessing into our life. And it is an honor to have Isabella. She's our baby. Uh, and also my beautiful wife, Delenn. And I just thank God for her. She has been Jesus to me. And uh, I just honor her. Uh, as just the, the greatest woman on the planet and just thank God for it. Boy, we, we both were so excited to drive up to the Celebration Arena. I mean, gr what a great space to do church in. We, we've been a part of Celebration since it started. And I remember the first time I ever came here, y'all were meeting in a gym uh, over at a country day school. And the, I mean, look at this environment. I mean, this screen I mean, if you put me on that screen, you would be frightened. Uh, I mean, I'm already large and that would be Godzilla typish. And so, uh, but I mean, the screens and the lights and just the environment for your kids and the space for family. Uh, back in those days at the gym, for, to create this type of environment, uh, they hung potted plants on the basketball goals and it was just an incredible space and people came to Christ because of those plants. Uh, it was really cool. And, uh, but I, I, we walked through all that. We knew that God had his hand on this church, not only here at, at all the other campuses, of course, around the world, the effort you're doing online. So thanks a lot for creating a space like that. Uh, I, I know what this means to spell sacrifice. And for so many of you, you gave over and above. And I just want to say thank you for caring about people. Uh, continue to be generous. You're not done yet. How many knows we create more space for more people? That's the only reason why we do it. And I know at Celebration, you'll continue to do that because you want to keep reaching people because they matter to God. 
And there's still so many people who just don't know the love of God. Uh, They've not found the love of God. Uh, They don't have a context of our Heavenly Father. And a place like this has provided that. So thanks a lot. I've spoken a lot of weekends. I've been speaking since I was 20 years old. I think I've spoke over 5,000 messages and spoke about 20 something, 20 years of weekends. But I don't know if there's ever been a weekend that I felt more dependent upon God's word. So we're going to let God's word do the work. I love being a part of this series, the comeback. Uh, That is a great thought. So I want to share with you for a few minutes this morning out of Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15. It's the third book of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke. Uh, 